Girl J Kells. So listen, I just left a store and it really upset me. Like, so I just felt the need to say this for everybody that works in customer service, retail, or or what it be. Right now it was a retail store. Um, I am for you. Like, you always hear customers are always right. You have to have the best customer service. But it comes to a point where customers have to be better. Like customers, like they feel so entitled. Like I cannot believe what I just seen at this store. Like customers really believe their way goes. Like every job has a policy. Every job has rules. Everybody has to follow the rules and their policies when they're at work. Okay. So when you come and you feel like you're entitled to have it your way, um, no ma'am, no sir. There are policies in order in place and that, that cashier or that customer service agent representative, they have to follow protocol. You know, so, and if you want them to break protocol and to have your back or to maybe give you a little exemption, you need to come at them correctly. Like, you cannot be loud mouthing these people. You know, you cannot be cursing at them. You cannot be belittling them and then thinking they're going to break a policy or a rule for you. Why would they lose their job for you? Why would they go to management and try to bend the rule for you and you coming at them rude over something cheap? Like this lady just, I mean, like this was a $10 item. You know what I mean? You didn't have your receipt. You know if you return something, you have to have a receipt. It was past 30 days and you opened it and you thought you were about to get a cash refund. Like, come on, like get out of here. And the scene she just made in this store for $10, like when I tell y'all, like if I had $10, I probably would've just gave it to her just to leave the store because that was so uncalled for. Like I couldn't imagine like when my daughter starts going to work and cause this was a young girl, like she had to be a teenager, young adult, you know? So it's like, I couldn't imagine my daughter calling me and some big grown lady just cussed her out and belittled her, made her feel like crap over a $10 refund that at any establishment you will not get. You know, I mean, most retail stores, you have seven to 14 days to return it, period. Tag have to be on, period. And you must have a receipt. You should be happy that you're getting a store credit at this point. Policy is policy. You know, it just really upset me. So I just want to say customer service agents again, I have your back. Like customers, we need to work on being better because these folks, they don't go to work these customer service agents do not go to work and say, let me see how many customers I can piss off today. They leave home at work, or they leave home in the mornings and afternoon, whenever they start their shift, when they leave home to start work, they're leaving on a positive note. If they like their job or not, you know, cause sometimes they might, we, it ain't just retail. Sometimes we don't like our jobs, but once we clock in and we get there for the most part, we have good attitudes and we don't go to work to make it even worse. Like I don't want to already dislike where I'm at and have a bad day the whole time out there. I'd rather get home, get in my car on my way home and be like, man, I can't wait to find a new job, but today was a good day. You know, nobody goes to work to piss people off. People have legit rules and protocols they have to follow. The same way when you're at work, because some people feel like because they work at an office job or whatever, and they make a little bit more money that they're more important, but that is a lie. Like we are all somebody's child, sister, brother, cousin, uncle, auntie, grandma, whatever. We are all important to somebody. No one is more important than anyone, you know. So I just felt like I had to say something because it just really upset me and I couldn't say anything in the store because I'm not making a scene. That's not my MO, that's not me, you know, but I just felt the need to maybe put a word out for the customers to be better because we always hear about how customer service should be better. But it's hard to give great customer service to a rude, entitled customer, okay? So y'all need to work on approaching people correctly. They don't know you had a bad day. They don't know this product sucked. They don't know that the shirt didn't fit or the shirt had a hole you didn't see. They don't know. So how about you just go talk to them like you talk to your mama and your sister and your child and just say, hey, read the name tag. Hey, how you doing, J.K.L.s? You know, hey, I need to return this item, blah, 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 blah. You know, I don't have my receipt. There's a way to approach them. And if they can't help you, they can't help you. But trust me, if there was anything they could have done for you, they would have done it, especially if you came at them respectfully. You know, so I just, I don't know, that just really upset me. And I see that all the time where people show out, you know, at a restaurant, your food wrong, your steak cooked wrong, and you going off on the waitress. The waitress didn't cook your steak. Aren't we all allowed to make mistakes? Like, aren't we allowed to make mistakes? When you make a mistake, you don't want anybody to be looking at you and talking down to you and making you feel like crap. You know, so how about let's work on helping the customer service agents and representatives give us great customer service by us being better people in general to these customer service representatives.